Hello friends, Kurt Bergman with you for game five of what's turned out to be an enormously popular series. We are doing the Stratomatic original version, uh, based by advanced game, baseball. The 1974 Oakland A's against the 1975 Boston Red Sox. The series is now tied at two games apiece. This is the third and final game at Boston's Fenway Park before we go back to Oakland for game six and, if necessary, game seven. The pitchers in today's game for Oakland, Vita Blue, their left-hander who won 17 games in 1974. Uh, uh, and he'll be going against right-hander Reggie Cleveland. Uh, basically the fourth starter for the 75 Red Sox. So it would seem that the Oakland A's have an advantage in this one. But every game has had twists and turns and every game has been very close so far. If you haven't checked them out on my channel, please do so. And if you haven't clicked like and subscribe to my videos, I would surely appreciate it. Let's get to the starting lineups for today's ball game. For the visiting world champion 1974 Oakland A's is Burt Campanaris leading off at shortstop. Bill North will bat second in center field. Sal Bando bats third at third base. Reggie Jackson will bat fourth in right field. Joe Rudy will bat fifth in left field. Gene Tennis will bat sixth at first base. Claude L. Washington will bat seventh and be the DH. And Ray Fossey will bat eighth at behind the plate. Dick Green will bat ninth at second base, and Vita Blue, 17 and 15 with a 3.26 ERA in 282 innings of work in 1974, will be on the mound for Oakland. For the homestanding Boston Red Sox, Dwight Evans will lead off in right field today. Denny Doyle bats second at second base. Kyle Yastrzemski bats third at first base. Carlton Fisk bats fourth behind the plate. Fred Lynn bats fifth in center field. Jim Rice will bat sixth in left field. Juan Benitez will bat seventh and be the DH. Rico Petroselli bats eighth at third base. Rick Burleson bats ninth and plays shortstop. And on the mound, it's Reggie Cleveland. He was 13 and nine with a 4.42 ERA and 171 innings of work. And he was a right-hander. So with all the preliminaries out of the way, let's roll some Stratomatic baseball. And here we go, game number five. Campanera steps in against Cleveland, and the pitch is going to be an extra base hit right off the bat. This one gets to the right center field gap and splits Evans and Lynn. Around first goes Campy, and into second with a leadoff double. Here comes Billy North. All right, so Campaneros on second, Cleveland the stretch. North is going to use that A bunt and lay one down, and he does. Look at him bunt one toward Petroselli. Rico comes in and lets it roll, and it's going to be fair. And North and Campaneros are on the corners now. North with a bunt single, and Campaneros gets to third. Petroselli tried to let it roll foul, and no dice. So, it's Bando with runners at the corners. Infield at double play depth. Cleveland the stretch, and the pitch to Sal is a chance for Fisk. It's an 11. Fisk is a 2, and it gets by him. It's a passed ball. And when I play that, the way I go with it is we just take the pass ball. We don't follow it with a foul out. So the runners move up. It's one nothing Oakland, north to second base. Bando still at the plate. Cleveland in a first inning mess. The pitch to Sal is a base hit to center field and it's two nothing Oak. Oh no, wait, here comes north to third. Lynn has a good throwing arm at minus three. That knocks North down to one to 14. They're gonna hold him at third with nobody out. So there's A's at the corners again. Now for Reggie. 
Cleveland to stretch, infield again at double play depth. The pitch to Jackson is hit in the air to right field. Evans lining it up. North tagging. Evans is a minus four, but they're going to send North this time. He makes the catch. There goes Bill. Here comes the throw to Fisk, and it's not in time. 2 nothing Oakland on a sacrifice fly by Reggie Jackson. Bando holds it first, and now it's Rudy. Joe Rudy coming to the plate. Infield again at double play depth. The pitch to Joe is hit in the air to center, but not deep. Fred Lynn under it, and he'll make the catch for the second out in inning number one. Here's Tennis. Bando still at first. The pitch to Gino. Ground ball Burleson. He's going to go the short way to Doyle, and that will end the Red Sox misery in inning number one. But the A's get two runs on three hits and leave one after a half inning. It's 2 nothing Oakland, and their offense has definitely woken up. It was dormant in games one and two, but it's awake in Boston. All right, so it's Evans, Doyle, and Yastrzemski. Righty, lefty, lefty against Vida Blue. And Vida's first pitch to Dwight Evans is hit on the ground to Campanaris. Campy gloves it. Throws to tennis for out number one. Here's Doyle. Denny Doyle, the pitch to him. Hit to left. Sinking fast. Rudy coming fast and makes the catch for out number two. Here's Yaz. Two outs, nobody aboard in the Boston first. Two nothing Oakland. If you're just joining us, hit in the air to center field. Billy North into right center a few steps, but he's got plenty of room and puts it away for out number three. We go to the second, it's two nothing Oakland. Game five, again, sorry, games six and seven, if necessary, we'll go back to Oakland. And game six will premiere on Christmas Day. If you are looking for me, that's what we'll be doing on Christmas Day. Top of the second, Washington, Fosse, and Green, the pitch. Base hit, left field, Claudel goes the other way, it drops in front of Rice. Claudel's on first with a single, and here comes Fossey. Cleveland to stretch, the pitch to Ray, he squares to Bunt, and it's not a good one. He bounces it to Petroselli, Rico gloves it, fires to Doyle for one. The real lady Yastrzemski is not in time. Fossey beats the rap at first, Dick Green will be up. One out, one on for the A's second baseman. Cleveland the stretch. The pitch to Green is hit in the air to left field. Rice with plenty of room. Makes the catch for out number two. Here's Campanaris as Fossey returns to first base. Pitch from Cleveland to Campanaris is hit on the ground to Burleson. Rick gloves it and goes the short way to Doyle. That will retire Oakland in the second. And after one and a half, it's 2 nothing Oakland. In a very important game five, the Red Sox do not want to go back to Oakland down three games to two. Game six will be Holtzman versus Lee. Fisk, Lynn, and Rice up in the bottom of the second for Boston. Blues first pitch, hit on the ground to Bando. He gloves it and fires to tennis for out number one. Now it's Lynn, MVP, rookie of the year, the whole nine yards. The pitch to Lynn is drilled. This is gonna be extra bases into left center field. North's gotta run it down. Lynn around first, he'll take second on the double. And the Red Sox have a scoring chance now with one out and Rice coming up. Blew the stretch, looks at Lynn at second, pauses, and delivers to Rice, hit in the air to center. Charging is north, he makes the catch for out number two as Lynn holds at second, and now it's Beniquez. Blew the stretch, and the delivery to Juan hit on the ground to Campanaris. He gloves it and throws to tennis, and that will retire Boston in the second. After two complete, 2 nothing Oakland. Lack of timely hitting is killing the Red Sox.
All right, in the top of the third, it'll be North, Bando, and Jackson, two, three, four hitters for Oakland. North is one for one. He scored a run as well in the first inning, hitting the air to center. Lynn charging hard. Lynn getting there for out number one. In the top of the third, two nothing Oakland. Cleveland winds and delivers to Bando. Bando is one for one today. He draws a walk. Now it's Reggie. Reggie coming to the plate. Infield moves to double play depth. Cleveland in a little bit of a trouble. Sacrifice fly in the first inning for Reggie. The pitch to him is going to be drilled to the right center field. Gap and gone just into the bullpen in right center. And it's 4 nothing Oakland. That's going to start action in the Boston bullpen. As Daryl Johnson slowly shakes his head in the dugout, it's Pole and Moret. Righty-lefty, double-barreled action just the way I like it in the Boston bullpen. 4 nothing Oakland, one out in the third. Rudy up. 0 for 1 for Joe, hit to center. Lynn in his tracks will make the catch, and there's two gone, and now tennis. 0 for 1 for Gino, the pitch to him, hit to center. Not deep, Lynn will tie a record held by many and make all three putouts in the inning. But the A's in the third get two on a two-run homer by Reggie Jackson. Seems like we should be calling that guy Mr. October or something. It is 4 nothing after two and a half innings. Oakland with the lead. Boston needed a big performance from Reggie Cleveland, and so far he has crapped right down his leg. Vita Blue is throwing a shutout, though. It's Petroselli, Burleson, and then the top of the order with Evans. The pitch to Rico. Ground ball, first base, tennis. He gloves it. And he's going to take it to first base for out number one. Burleson comes up. They call him the rooster. Burleson against blue. The pitch. Whoop. The pitch is hit to center on a line to Billy North. Two gone in the bottom of the third. Here comes Dwight Evans. 0 for 1. The pitch to Dewey. Hit on the ground to short. Campanaris up the middle, gloves at Plants, fires to tennis, and that retires the Red Sox. In the third, the bats have gone ice cold in Boston. We go to the top of the fourth. Bottom third of the Oakland order coming up is Washington, Fossey, and Green against Reggie Cleveland. Washington is one for one. The pitch to Claudel is hit on the ground to Doyle. He gloves it to his left. Plants and throws to Yastrzemski for out number one in the fourth. Red Sox have plenty of thunder to come back. Fossey 0 for 1. The pitch to Ray. Hit to right. Evans toward the line. Makes the catch for out number two. And now, Dick Green with two outs and nobody aboard for Oakland. The wind and the delivery from Cleveland, he pops it up. Burleson calling on the infield. Dirt will take it for out number three. And after three and a half, it's 4 nothing Oakland. Vita Blue is throwing a one-hitter. He has struck out none. He has walked none, but that doesn't matter. Nobody's crossed the pay station. Doyle, Yastrzemski, and Fisk in inning number four for Boston. The pitch to Denny. Hit on the ground to Dick Green. He gloves it and throws to tennis for out number one. Yastrzemski up now. Yaz, 0 for 1. The only Boston hit, a double by Lynn in the second. The pitch. Hit on the ground to tennis. To his right, he gloves it. He feeds Vita Blue, and there's two gone in the Boston fourth. Now it's Fisk, 0 for 1. Popped up, Camp Benares calling on the infield grass and takes it for out number three. We've played four complete. It's 4 nothing Oakland. We go to the fifth, and it's the top of the Oakland order. 
Looking for a kill shot on the Red Sox here. Campaneras, North, and Bando as Pole and Moret stay busy in the Red Sox bullpen. Campy is one for two with a pitch. Base hit for Campaneras. He's on with a single. See what the A's decide to do here. They're going to hold Campaneras close to the base. Cleveland, the belt. And the delivery. There goes Campy. It's the hit and run. It's the hit and run. North becomes a B. It's hit on the ground to Burleson. He goes to Doyle for one. And whoa, Campy takes out Doyle. So Campy is retired 6-4 on the fielder's choice. North replaces him at first base. And now it's Bando. North, a double-A stealer, Fisk a minus two, with they get minus three for holding him. That knocks North down to a one to 12. Bando up. Cleveland, the stretch. Checks North, the pitch home. There goes Billy. And Bando takes the pitch. The throw down from Fisk to Doyle is in time. They shoot down North, trying to steal second. He's retired two to four if you're scoring at home. And if you are, oh my goodness. One for one for Bando. The pitch from Cleveland to Bando is hit on the ground to Burleson. He's in the hole. He throws hard to Yaz, and they get Bando by a step. We are halfway through this one. It is 4 nothing Oakland. Bottom of the fifth, Lynn, Rice, and Benitez coming up for the Red Sox as they try and mount a comeback. Blue. Facing the only man to get a hit today, Fred Lynn, the pitch. Hey, struck him out, and that's Blue's first strikeout on the day. Now it's Rice. Blue winds and delivers to Jim. Is a looper, green retreating, can't get there. Base hit, and Rice is on. One out, one on for the Red Sox. Here's Benitez, the DH today. 0 for 1. Blue the stretch, checks Rice, the pitch home. Ground ball, Campanaris, he goes to green for one. The relay is in time for a rally-killing, soul-crushing 6-4-3 twin top of the sixth. Jackson, Rudy, tennis, 4-5-6 for Oakland coming up. 4-0, the world champs lead the Red Sox. The pitch, line shot, Burleson grabs it for out number one. One gone in the top of the six. Cleveland has now retired eight of the last nine batters. But Oakland leads 4 nothing. Rudy is 0 for 2. The pitch to Joe. Hey, struck him out, and that's Reggie's first strikeout. Now it's tennis. 0 for 2 for Gino today. The pitch to him is hit deep to left, and it's going to clank off the monster. Around first comes Tennis. Rice grabs it and fires towards Doyle. Tennis slides, and he is safe with a double. Washington comes to the plate, and out of the dugout comes Daryl Johnson, and he wants Roger Moret To face the lefty Washington, it's going to be Moret, although... Washington was actually better against lefties. But Moret's been very effective for Boston in this series. Cleveland goes five and two-thirds. He allows seven hits. He walked none. He struck out one. He allowed four runs. They're all earned. And tennis on second base is his responsibility. There are two outs, however. Moret was 14 and three in 1975 with a 3.60 ERA and 145 innings of work. 36 games, 16 of them were starts, so 20 relief appearances, four complete games, two saves. He did a little bit of everything. And is on to face Claudel. They're going to let Claudel bat against Moret. Claudel is one for two. Tennis is in scoring position. There are two outs. We are in the top of the sixth, and it's 4 nothing Oakland. 
The pitch to Washington is hit in the air to center. Fred Lynn, with plenty of room, puts it away for out number three, and that retires the Oakland A's in inning number six. Bottom of the sixth coming. Blue throwing a two-hitter, two-hit shutout. 8-9-1 for Boston in the... Bottom of the sixth, Petroselli, Burleson, and Evans. The pitch to Rico. Hit on the ground to Green. Dick Green gloves it and throws to Gene Tennis for out number one. Blue's got it working today. Burleson up. Pitch to Rick from Vida. Hey, struck him out, and that's two strikeouts for the Oakland left-hander. And here comes Dwight Evans with two outs and nobody aboard. The Boston leadoff hitter is 0 for 2 today. The pitch from Vida. He walked him. That is Vida's first walk. We are in the bottom of the sixth. There's two outs, and here comes Doyle. Blue the stretch, checks Evans at first, and the pitch to Denny is hit to right. Dying quail. Here comes Reggie, and he's got it for out number three. After six complete, it's 4 nothing Oakland. In this one, the visiting team has won every game of this series so far. So, Oakland is continuing the pattern by having the lead here. Fossey, Green, and Campanaris will face Moret in inning number seven. Pitch to Ray. Ground ball, Doyle. Denny gloves it and throws to Yastrzemski for out number one. Now it's green. Morat one. Oop, wait, and I'm dropping dice left and right. I am really good at that lately. All right, the next pitch to Dick Green after that foul ball is hit on the ground to Burleson. Rick gloves it and throws to Yastrzemski for out number two. Here comes Campy. Two outs, nobody aboard. He is... Two for three today with a run scored. The pitch to him is trouble. This is driven to right center, and it's going to split Lynn and Evans. Around first comes Campy. He's got himself a two-bagger before Lynn can get it back in. With two outs and Campanaris at second, it's north now. Red Sox bullpen gets firing again. Off travel day tomorrow, so everybody can get to catch their breath. Drago and Burton are throwing for the Red Sox in the pen. North, one for three, the pitch. He walked him. Now it's going to be Bando with Reggie on deck. Bando, one for two. He has scored a run. Moret the stretch and the delivery to Sal and it's ball four. He walks him, so the bases are dripping with Oakland A's. It's already four nothing, but there are two outs, and Moret now faces the left-hander Jackson. Big moment in this game. Moret the stretch. Reggie is one for two. He has a home run, a two-run homer, a sacrifice fly, three ribbies in the game. Two outs. Campanaris at third, North at second, Bando at first. The pitch to Reggie. Base hit right field, drops in front of Evans. Campanaris scores. They are waving North. 1 to 17 minus 4 goes to 1 to 13, plus 2 for two outs makes it 1 to 15. The throw is coming home from Evans, and they get him at the plate. They get North at the plate. Fisk applies the tag. North never got close to the base, and that will retire the side. But the A's get an all-important fifth run on the single. Campanera scored from third, and not, the A's now lead five to nothing. So a single by Jackson. He now has four RBIs in the game. We go to the bottom of the seventh. There's no sweet Caroline today. It's five nothing. Oakland in the bottom of the seventh. It's Yastrzemski, Fisk, and Lynn. Three, four, five hitters against Vita Blue, who is cruising with a two-hitter. Two-hit shutout. The pitch from Blue to Yaz is 
drill. This is back through the middle. And there's a start for the Red Sox, a single for the star first baseman of the Red Sox, Yastrzemski. Nobody out. Blue facing Fisk. Fisk is 0 for 2. The pitch to the Boston catcher. Base hit center field. Drops in front of North. Around second base goes Yaz. He's headed for third. North's throw comes into second. And there's Red Sox at the corners in the bottom of the seventh. That's going to get the Oakland bullpen cooking. As Fingers and Lindblad start to throw, in comes to the plate. With a chance to do damage, Oakland infield at double play depth. First and third for the Red Sox. They're down 5 nothing. Blue the stretch and the delivery to the MVP is ball four. Bad time for Blue's control to escape him. The bases are now dripping with Red Sox. That is Blue's second walk. It's Jastrzemski at third, Fisk moves down to second, and Lynn takes his spot at first base, and Jim Rice comes to the plate. Oakland bullpen is cooking. Blue the stretch, nobody out. This pitch to Rice, base hit center field. Drops in front of North and takes a bad hop. Off his glove, Yaz will score, Fisk will score, Lean goes to third, and they're going to give Rice a charitable double. And it's 5-2 Oakland on the double by Rice. Nobody out, bottom of the seventh. Out of the dugout comes Alvin Dark. He wants Raleigh Fingers, and he wants him right now. Blue's day is done suddenly in the bottom of the seventh as the wheels come off. For Vita, six innings pitch, six innings plus, five hits allowed, two walks, uh, two strikeouts, no home runs. He has allowed two runs so far, but two more are his responsibility on the bases. He is in line for the victory should the A's hold on. It's Lindblad throwing in the bullpen now. He will be joined by John Blue Moon Odom. So it's returns to lefty-righty double-barreled action for the Oakland Athletics. Second, third, nobody out. Oakland infield is back. Benitez is up. And the Red Sox are going to go to Bernie Carbo here against the right-hander, Raleigh Fingers. So Benitez's day is done. He was... 0 for 2. Carbo comes off the bench to pinch hit. He is the tying run. Bottom of the seventh, nobody out. Lynn at third, Rice at second. This, these are Carbo's numbers on the 75 season, a 257 average with 15 homers in just about part time, half time work. So Carbo will face fingers. Infield is back. They want the out. Fingers the stretch and the delivery. Hey, struck him out. And there's one gone in the bottom of the seventh. Petroselli comes to the plate. Fingers the stretch and the delivery to Rico. Hit to center, but not deep. Lynn will not be able to tag. North makes the catch and there's two gone. And now it's Burleson. Fingers, the stretch, one more time, delivers. It's a line shot caught by Dick Green, and that'll retire the side. The Red Sox get two, but only two on three hits, and they leave two. Big opportunity is partially squandered. After seven, it's 5-2 Oakland. Moret comes back out. He will face Rudy, Tennis, and Washington. Righty, righty, lefty in the top of the eighth. The pitch to Rudy. Ground ball, Burleson. Rick charges, gloves it, throws to Yastrzemski, and there's one out. Now it's Tennis. One for three today for Gino. Hit in the air to right field. Dwight Evans into right center and makes the catch. 
Now it's Washington. Claudel is one for three. The pitch from Moret. Line shot just off Denny Doyle's glove. It's a base hit into right field for Washington. And Fossey will come to the plate. And out of the dugout comes Daryl Johnson. He wants his right-hander in the bullpen, Dick Drago. And that's going to do it for Roger Moret. So Moret goes two innings, allows three hits, two walks, one run. It was earned. And Washington at first base is his responsibility. 5-2 Oakland lead at the moment. The delivery from Drago popped up. Denny Doyle calling and taking for out number three. We go to the bottom of the eighth and the score. Oakland five, Boston two. Game five of this best of seven series tied two apiece. All right, so in the bottom of the, of the eighth, it's going to be Evans, Doyle, and Yastrzemski, righty, lefty, lefty, against the Oakland, one of the Oakland closers, Raleigh Fingers. All right, so Evans is 0 for 2. The pitch from Raleigh is drilled by Evans to center and deep. This is going to be a base hit. Cut off by North. Evans will hold at first. Now it's Doyle. Lindblad and Odom get cooking again in the bullpen. Doyle at the plate. Denny is 0 for 3. Yastrzemski is on deck. Fingers the stretch and the delivery to Denny. Hit in the air to right field. Reggie Jackson on the run. Reggie will make the catch. And... Will Evans will hold. He'll retreat to first base. And there's one out and one on now for Yaz. Fingers the stretch. Yastrzemski one for three. The pitch to Yastrzemski. Base hit. Center field. Right center. North cuts it off. Evans around second heading to third. And the Red Sox have it going again. They're runner Red Sox at the corners now for Fisk. Fingers in another jam. One for three for Fisk on the day. He has scored a run. He is the tying run. We're in the bottom of the eighth. It's 5-2 Oakland with one out for the Red Sox. The pitch. Hey, struck him out. That's the second strikeout for Raleigh. There's two gone in the bottom of the eighth, but now he's got Lynn to deal with. Fingers the stretch. The delivery to Fred Lynn. Hit in the air to left. Warning track for Rudy makes the catch, and that will retire the Red Sox in inning number eight. We've played eight complete. Wow, this is a good series. Good series, folks. It's 5-2 Oakland. We go to the ninth. Green, Campanaris, and North coming up for the world champs. He will face, they will face Dick Drago, Jim Burton throwing in the bullpen. He is now being joined by Jim Willoughby. Lefty righty double barreled action for Oak, for Boston in the bullpen. Green is up. He is 0 for 3 to lead off the ninth. The pitch from Drago. Hey, struck him out. One gone in the ninth. Campaner is 3 for 4. He has hit two doubles. He has scored two runs. The pitch from Drago. Base hit Campanaris right back through the box. It's a single for Campy. He's got three, four for five going today. North comes to the plate. Bando is on deck. Drago in a jam. One out, one on for Oakland. Drago the stretch. He pauses. He looks at Campy. The pitch home. Campy's not going. It's hit on the ground to Burleson. Burleson gloves it, goes to Doyle for one. The real lady Yastrzemski is in time for a rally-killing, soul-crushing 6-4-3 double play turned by the Red Sox. We go to the bottom of the ninth. Raleigh Fingers coming out for inning number three. It is Oakland five, Boston two. Six, seven, eight hitters coming up for the Red Sox. Rice, Carbo, Petroselli. 
Lindblad and Odom throwing softly in the bullpen. They are ready. Alvin Dark pacing in the dugout. Rice, two for three. He has driven in both Boston runs. He's the leadoff batter here in the ninth. The pitch from Fingers. Hit in the air to left. Rudy under it with room and makes the catch in the shadow of the monster. Carbo struck out in the seventh. The pitch from Fingers. Ball four. He takes his base. Daryl Johnson's going to his bench. He wants, man, does he though? Yeah, he does. He's going to Cooper for Petroselli, who has suddenly turned cold. So Cooper will pinch it for Rico Petroselli. Now the Oakland Athletics have a decision to make. Do they bring in Lindblad or let Fingers go? And they're going to let Fingers face him. 5-2, bottom of the ninth, one out. A's infield at double play depth. It's Carbo at first. Fingers the stretch. And the delivery, and this is trouble. Hit to center and deep, and it's going to get over North's head. It one-hops the wall. Cooper around second. Carbo is already around third. He is going to be waved, and he is going to score. Cooper slides into third with a triple. It's five to three, and suddenly the tying run comes to the plate in Rick Burleson. Red Sox fans are back in this game. Tying run comes to the plate. Lindblad is ready. Alvin Dark, arms folded, just watching in the Red Sox or in the Athletics dugout. All right, so Burleson will bat. Fingers is going to go from the windup against Rick. The pitch is ball four, and that is the tying run down to first base. Here comes Evans. He is the winning run. It is 5-3 Oakland with one out in the ninth, Cooper at third, Burleson at first. And the Oakland infield at double play depth. And Fingers is now tired, so out of the dugout pops Dark. He wants Lindblad. He's going to go to the lefty to try and close it. So Lindblad is on. We'll give you Fingers' numbers here in just a moment. Bottom of the ninth. Fingers went two and a third. He allowed three hits, two walks, two strikeouts, and so far one run, although he's on the hook for the two runners on the base, on the bases, and he could lose it if, uh... no, he couldn't. Lindblad would lose it if Evans goes deep here. Lindblad is the left-handed Half of the short man team for the 74 A's. It's He was 4-4 four four with a 205 ERA and 101 innings of work. He had six saves in 45 games. Evans is at the plate. He's 1-3. for three. He has a walk as well on his ledger. Denny Doyle is on deck. One out. Red Sox at the corners. Evans is the winning run in this ballgame. Cooper at third. Burleson at first. Burleson at first base is the tying run in this ballgame. 5-3. Oakland lead. Lindblad the stretch. He checks the runners. The pitch to Evans. Ground ball. Campanaris. Campy gloves it. Campy boots it. Campy boots it, and everybody's going to be safe. It's off the heel of his glove. He was looking to flip to green before he had the ball, and that will score Cooper from third. Burleson moves to second base, and the A's make an uncharacteristic, fundamental mistake. Doyle is due. He is 0 for 4. And the 
tying run is now 180 feet away in Rick Burleson at second base. Burleson at second, Evans at first, one out, bottom of the ninth. Two runs are in, it's 5-4 Oakland. Yastrzemski is on deck. Lindblad, the stretch, checks the runners. The pitch to Denny Doyle, and this is trouble. This is to center and deep. This is going to get over North's head. Scoring is the tying run. Rick Burleson, it's a 5-5 game. Is Evans going to be waived with the game winner? Uh, he is 1-14. to North is a minus 2. That knocks him down to 1-12. to There's only one out, so there's no other adjustment. It's 1-12. to They are going to wave Evans. They are going to wave. Don Zimmer is windmilling Dwight Evans home. 1-12, to and the Red Sox are going to have a walk-off winner. And they do. A two-run double by Denny Doyle in the bottom of the ninth. Plates the tying and winning runs. The Oakland A's bullpen implodes in the bottom of the ninth, and the Red Sox walk it off with a 6-5, unbelievable, come-from-behind victory. They take a 3-2 advantage back to Oakland for game six, where it'll be Bill Lee and Ken Holtzman. Let's give you the totals for the Red Sox. Wow. Wow. Six runs, nine hits, and they committed no errors. Oakland, five runs, 11 hits, and they committed one costly error in the ninth inning. Bert Campanaris with the clank. A lot of heroes in this game, but Denny Doyle with the game winner. A double to center that gets over Bill North's head. He plays very shallow, as you know. Burleson scores from second easily. Evans was waved all the way from first by third base coach Don Zimmer, and he slid in ahead of the throw. 6-5 Red Sox winner. The winning pitcher, Dick Drago in relief. The losing pitcher, Paul Lindblad. Although the winning run is unearned, it still counts. And the Red Sox win game five, six to five. Thanks for being with me. Hope you have a wonderful day. Come on back Christmas Day for game six in Oakland. Holtzman versus Lee. Battle of left-handers. Have a wonderful day. So long, everybody.